Proof Squad, what's going on? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. And it's going to be different in a way that we probably wouldn't agree here on the channel because it is a warlock build. And I know, I know, I know. Stop screaming at me. I know. Okay. The only reason we're doing this, and you're going to notice I'm not on my account. I'm on my girlfriend Jeannie's account. And I'm doing it. I helped her out earlier on Destiny to get together and help her out with some things. And I played around with the warlock a little bit and I figured out a build. Okay. And the only reason I did it is because on Twitter and stuff, I see people and, and the forums, I see people saying that Warlocks got the short end of the stick this season. But I'm here to tell you, no the fuck they didn't. No they didn't whatsoever. So here it is, we're gonna hop into it. You're gonna have unlimited rifts and unlimited grenades and unlimited arc buddies, 100% of the time. Let's get into it. All right, so before getting into the build, I do want to let you guys know that uh, because her account, she's a very, fairly new player, so there are no real extra mods going into this, right? There's nothing extra that's making us, you know, charge with flight or anything like that that's giving us more stuff to buff this build. It's pretty much just flat out max recovery and the rest is literally just the subclass and the class, honestly. So uh, there's no extra mods that go into this whatsoever. So first off, the exotic that we're gonna be using are the getaway artist gauntlets. And this reads as uh, we can convert your arc grenade into into a arc soul and become amplified. The arc soul functions as an autonomous turret. So this is used to fill the gap on getting our arc soul with our rift, as well as just giving us a stronger arc soul and keeping us amplified as well. So these are very important to use in this build. So next, getting into the subclass. So we're gonna be using Chaos Reach for the super, of course, just because it does the most damage. Then we're gonna be using Healing Rift, Burst Glide, Pain, Lightning, Melee, and Pulse Grenade. But of course the grenade doesn't really matter because we are going to be using it to consume and get an arc buddy. For the aspects, we're using arc soul. So cast a rift to create an arc soul that fires at targets in front of you. Allies can pass through your rift to get an arc soul. Your rift charges faster when allies are near. While amplified, your arc souls are supercharged and gain increased fire rate. So that helps with the damage output for the arc souls and it also helps us get our abilities back quicker. The next aspect is electrostatic mind. Feeding targets with arc abilities or defeating jolted or blinded targets creates an ionic trace. Collecting an ionic trace makes you amplified. So pretty much with this, we should be amplified 100% of the time, okay? 100% of the time, we should be amplified always, meaning our arc buddies are gonna be doing more and more for us and for our teammates 100% of the time. So the fragments that we're gonna be using for this build are Spark of Volt, so finishers make you amplified, also gives us plus 10 in recovery. Uh, the next one is Spark of Recharge. While critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy regenerates more quickly. So this is just gonna help us, one, get that grenade energy back quicker and get our melee back quicker if we get super damaged. Next is Spark of Resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage and it gives us plus 10 in strength. This one's very good just because pretty much you're always going to be surrounded by enemies. So you're always going to be getting that damage resistance uh, from incoming damage. And then the last one is Spark of Beacons. While you are amplified, your arc special weapon final blows create a blinding explosion. So if you guys want to put on a arc special weapon, it will go great with this. Like I said in my Hunter video, I've been using Trinity Ghoul, so that works as well. So it'll just give off a blinding effect or a blinding explosion if you're amplified and you get kills with it. And that is pretty much everything that we are going to be using. That's the setup for the build, again, without mods. So you could definitely check mods, put mods on here to make it even stronger than it already is without them. But the play loop, for this, it's pretty much going to be, you're going to instantly pop a rift, get an arc buddy, get your teammates arc buddy or whatever, and you're just going to be getting kills while you have this, right? Getting kills, uh, using your melee ability, whatever, whatever. Then if you, you're saving your grenade for the actual consuming of it, if you run out of your arc soul. So you have a timer at the bottom left of your screen while your buffs and everything go. Uh, it starts at 13, 14 seconds while you're sitting in the rift that does not start ticking. Uh, it doesn't start ticking until you get out of the rift. Now, if you get back in the rift, it'll reset the timer. Uh, so really you can just go in and out of it. And honestly, by the time your arc buddy is gone, you will have another rift to put down. But if you mess up the combo or anything like that, then you have that grenade to consume to get another arc buddy and it makes you amplified. 
So pretty much if you have a rift, use it. If you have a grenade, consume it and just continue it on, continue it on. And you will always have an arc buddy 100% of the time. You'll pretty much always have a grenade if you're getting kills and you'll always have a rift as long as you're getting kills as well. So everything just kind of goes hand in hand here. Again, there's no mods on this. It's absolutely ridiculous and it's really strong. So uh, all the warlocks out there saying that uh, they got the short end of the stick, here you go. No, you didn't. You're just more of a support class with the arc. You don't do a crap ton of damage. You just support. Deal with it. Here you go. <laughs> but that's going to be the video, man. Again, if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit subscribe button if you want to see more on the channel from me. But hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you next time.